What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. Welcome to this anti-character episode. This time we're talking about Noctis. I've made a video about Noctis before, but uh, that went into too much detail, I think. With rather with these videos, I just want these simple general rules to serve as a bigger picture guide for you looking at the character. And uh, Noctis is a very, very special character. The whole character is kind of a gimmick. You've seen his swords, and especially, you know, the very famous Aura with the, this big buster sword with just enormous range. And of course, forward too, he can throw his sword. Enormous amount of spatial control on Noctis due to the great range and the very weird tracking of his moves where I mean you'd swear this move this ho rather horizontal slash I mean you'd swear that must have a lot of tracking he swings a big buster sword horizontally but interestingly this has very little tracking and the moves that in a very mysterious way track a shitload where it looks like they shouldn't are the vertical slashes so forget everything you've learned, you know, in maybe Dark Souls or Soul Calibur with Noctis in Tekken 7, these big vertical swings are the swings that make you shit your pants when you're trying to sidewalk. So, in this matchup, you will not be sidestepping a lot. In my opinion... No, wait, 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 Re let me rephrase that. We have to be very mindful of the range where you're facing Noctis. You want to be at this range, in his face, because here you can very easily sidewalk all of his clunky slow moves and his homing is rather unsafe and ineffective in my opinion. But when you are at this range, you really have to respect Noctis. Due to the aura and while running 1 plus 2, do not sidestep. Uh, is what I'm gonna tell you. So, you, you've you probably seen the aura, you've seen down back too. What an annoying 50-50, right? Well, if you compare to Kazuya's 50-50, where the Hell Sweep animation on its own is 16 frames, Ford for free is 19 frames. It's a very fast mix-up. You might think this, I find this 50-50 to be much more annoying due to the range of it. But if you can get close enough to knock this, both of these are 25 frames. They're very slow. So if you can just get close to him and start doing shit like this, uh, well, I mean shit like this, I'm geese, it's much harder for the Noctis player. And that, that's not saying, you know, he has no keep out. He has up for the one. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate this. Up for one to try and keep you out, but here suddenly the character has no tracking. Oh, he actually hit me. That's the first time I've ever seen that hit, even though I'm stepping. I'm I'm stepping both sides here, by the way. Uh, so this is the key to fighting Noctis. If you stand this close, his homing is rather ineffective. He has homing moves, like 1 plus 2, which can be cancelable like this, but there he, it has no damage. If he's forced to do the whole thing, it for sure has some damage, as you can see. But it's actually minus 14. You know what that means with geese? Punish. He gets launched punish. So if you play Paul, you get back free. As you can see, there's no knockback on the block here. He's right next to you. So, what is your character's biggest 14 frame punish? Go with that. Make it hurt for Noctis. Uh, he has another homing move, which is a really good move actually, in Ford Ford 1 plus 2. Uh, homing, it's kind of fast, but this is an offensive homing move. You have to press Ford Ford 1 plus 2 to do it. You're not gonna be able to do that when someone is in your face pressuring you like this. So, an obvious design decision by the developers on Noctis' behalf to have him much weaker at this range. You have to see Noctis as an alt artillery piece, like maybe a reaver in uh, uh, Starcraft or 
old school Command and Conquer, I'm that old. Uh, the, these Nod forces, artillery pieces, that they can take no damage when you're up close to them, but from afar they're amazing. And that's Noctis. If you play Noctis at this range, you're playing his game. Get right next to him, take advantage of that, all of these key moves are very slow. Go in his face, step him. Uh, we're gonna take a look at... Uh, wait. Uh, let, let's just demonstrate what I want to show you guys regarding the, the aura. A lot of players make the mistake, they wanna fight him at this range. And here while running 1 plus 2 has got a lot of ghost tracking. The aura is notorious here. You, sometimes you'll step it, but most of the time you'll, you'll just get hit by it. At this range. I, I just wouldn't try and sidewalk Noctis at that range. The aura is, almost turns into a homing move. But up close. Up close, man. What is your biggest uh, back turn damage combo? Get to his back and just make him pay. This is how you fight Noctis. Ah, uh, sorry. I mistimed it. Uh, you, you really have to stand right next to him. Uh, if you're not right next to him, you take a big risk. Yep. Gotta stay right next to that ass. Um. So, yes, just to reaffirm what have been said, uh, if, if you're, f no wait, uh, <laughs> you know what has been said. What I'm gonna get into is what you should do if you're suddenly in this range. So let's say we're not here. What do we do if we're here? Don't sidestep at all. Try and backdash away from the character. Try and keep your guard up as you're backdashing. This requires a pretty effective backdash. If you see the aura, try and freeze and block. But just try and move away, and then whenever you get a whiff, just try and go in. But uh, he might do aura into aura, he can do aura into upward one, the counter hit tool. Uh, just stay... Be very careful because this he's so good in this range. But if you really so just block, wait for him to come close to you, in my opinion, and then just start this, you know, or as I said, sidewalk him up close. But do know that if the aura whiffs, you know, let's say you act, you're so effective in your backdash that you make it whiff, he's vulnerable for ten years. It is horrible on block. That was actually a punish. You see how slowly he recovers if it's not blocked? That was a punish. You know. I can take 10 years here to punish him. So, uh... If you have a good backdash, that's great for this fight. Try and move back, try and guard though the incoming moves. Uh, but if you make the aura with, uh, you have a great opportunity to punish. Um, but to be honest, overall, this match is about getting close. Getting close to Noctis. Here he is vulnerable to sidestepping. If he uses 1 plus 2 of a homing move, it's minus 14 if he goes for the whole thing. If he cancels it, he gets very little damage. Um, and honestly, he's, he's just super weak to pressure. Uh, a Noctis might throw out uh, down for 2 as a, a panic move, but no, that, that, that's minus 20. It does have some crushing though, as you can see, if you jab here. So you have to be a little careful when you pressure him. But you'll notice pretty quickly if a Noctis you're facing gets so afraid that he starts throwing this, you know, just make sure to punish it every time. And it's... it's any character can launch this, even Bob with up forward free. So just make him pay for this. And you know, uh, su super steppable. As I told you guys, if you get up close to knock this, 
he just he recovers so ridiculously slow after all of his swings so you, you will get his back get close to knock this and suddenly all of these nightmare moves while running one plus two or down back two up forward one down for two name name them all they are no threat to you because the the artillery that is knocked this just not doesn't hold up at all in close range Become a boxer, become Muhammad Ali, get close and just pressure the shit out of Noctis. But as I said, if you fight Noctis at this range, be very, very careful. Do not sidewalk, do not sidestep, try and move backwards, try and get him to get to you. And just wait for the opportunity where you're suddenly face to face with him and he's slowly recovering from something and start the offense and be a little afraid of down for two um, but if, if you notice that he's spamming that shit make him pay if, if you launch punish that shit every time uh, you, you, you're gonna stop him from abusing that I, I'm pretty sure okay can, can I just get one one nice punish Uh, I'm gonna be happy with that combo, I guess. Uh, but so, that, that honestly is how you fight Noctis. There isn't a whole lot to it, I hope. Well, I mean, it's easy to describe like this. It's harder to do in actual practice. Um, but I hope this gave you some idea on his weaknesses. Because I know this is a matchup a lot of people find highly annoying. And I absolutely understand why. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's it, and I hope you all have a nice day. Take care.